I never thought to be a so-called star architect. Selecting to become an architectural designer and a researcher, I like to observe the city closely from the perspective of general public and improve the urban space with professional knowledge. A normal way of learning, there are both challenges and opportunities. My name is Deng Huishu, as known as Frida. I'm a PhD candidate in architecture. I start my day with the mentoring morning of the design studio, which is a time for students to discuss their questions and thoughts freely with the teaching assistant. For me, it's always inspirational to communicate with younger students, since they have a lot and very creative ideas, and thanks to their fresh eyes, I could also polish my own way of design and catch a glimpse of the future tendency of this subject. I stayed in Tsinghua for over nine years since the undergraduate period. The Tsinghua campus is not only a warm home for me, but a giant book. By reading it, I'm reading the design philosophy passed on by the School of Architecture. So I always take a break to walk around the campus. These buildings are not only teaching me great aesthetic and technical knowledge, but also make me aware of the strong connection between humans and architecture, which also contacts my PhD research topic on the daily life of people. By observing and analyzing how people interact with space, I'm reversely investigating how to make our city more equal, more sustainable, and more fun to live in. Participating in real projects is the most stressful but rewarding part of my daily routine. Since 2016, led by my supervisor, Professor Zhang Li, our team is doing the designs and plans of Zhangjiakou Mountain Zone and the Shogun Big Air Venue of Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games. I felt so proud and excited to see what used to be a virtual model in computer is now built in the real world and how it will contribute to the local citizens. It's also a great honor for me to be a small part of this big project since I got the opportunity to work with and learn from lots of experts, workers and scholars who dedicate not only professional skills but also emphasis to it. By the end of the day, I'm going to visit Shogun District, which was once the burning heart of industrial Beijing and would have been transformed into big air Olympic venues. Though the construction work is almost finished, I'm here to record how people use the space to understand the impact from the Olympic Games and the potential of post-game use. Here we can see the big air venue. The concept is to make a slight and a gentle curve accurate the curve of the existing cooling tower. The whole perspective of the big air venue gives to the Shogun area an iconic image, a mixture of national cultural identity and a regional memory. Besides the big L venues, there is a cluster of buildings which contains regenerated existing industrial buildings and new buildings. We aim to keep the industrial memory of this area, but at the same time to provide a new image of it. I believe the story of Olympic venue just begins. It's a place for both mega events and normal people, for both short-term on-game use and long-term urban development. As both designers and scholars, we will also not stop at just finishing the design and construction. We can see another kind of architectural human relationship is revealing under the topic of Olympics, sports, health, and contemporary lifestyle, which is worth further study, and I will continue work for it. So this is one of my tight but varied days. Thank you for watching, goodbye and have a good night.